Welcome to the Ferrari headquarters here, the car center of the world, one of the most legendary places. But before we jump into the hot lap, we're gonna check out the museum, because as you know, I love all the ancient cars, and I think it's gonna be absolutely epic. Wow, so epic start here, 250 LM, 1963, and there's only 30 of those. So you're starting here, like this is I think $30 million or something insane, and absolutely beautiful. And I love the paint job as well, really, 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 really special. Behind us, because we can see the Mille Miglia trophy, and one other point on my bucket list is to one day do the Mille Miglia, uh, which would be epic. And so there's the trophy and all the memorabilia here. Epic, now we get into the hypercar series. And look at this, I mean, the one car is just more epic than the next, it's unbelievable. Okay, and here now, this is really where it kicks off here with the Enzo Ferrari. One of the first like modern full hypercars. And this is uh, worth like two million. And the epic LaFerrari, which for me is probably the most beautiful and emotional hypercar in the world. So stunning, yeah? the design, the power, V12, the fact that it's a V12 normally aspirated with the, with the hybrid technology. This is for me the holy grail of modern hypercars. Here we've got the F1 car, the modern one, and it is <laughs> unbelievable. And going close, like seeing the details, insane, insane how detailed now the aerodynamics have become. And then most importantly, we come here to the beginnings. And the funny thing is, if you look at the front, it says Alfa Romeo, because Ferrari actually started as Alfa Romeo. He bought Alfa Romeos and then raced them in the Ferrari Scud in the Scuderia Ferrari team. But the cars were all Alfa Romeos and that's how everything began. And this is the beginnings. And then he was so successful as a race team, and then he decided to build his own cars. Wow, so here now we're in the Formula One world champions history room uh, un unbelievable really it's like goosebumps coming in here because i love formula one history so much and there's all the world championship winning cars all the helmets from the world champions all the trophies all the way back to the 50s really special We're here now for lunch at Mama Rosella's. The restaurant's called Montana and it's the most legendary restaurant here in Maranello where all the drivers, all the ex-drivers, everybody comes. And I can remember it from Michael Schumacher's times because he would always celebrate his wins here and everything. So very special and legendary place. Thank you, Mama Rosella. She invited all of us for lunch. It was epic, thank you. Jumping into the F8 Tributo now, which is the successor of the 488 and uh, similar, you know, similar concepts of V8, uh, turbocharged, 720 horsepower, 1,400 kilograms, 2.9 seconds, 0 to 100, let's go! Secret test roads of Ferrari in the mountains. behind the factory where all of the Ferrari test drivers always test the cars and, uh, and fine-tune the handling. I've got the Ferrari test driver in front so he knows these roads inside out. I don't know, I don't know if I've ever felt a car, a road car with so much grip before. In slow speed, eh? like mechanical grip. Proper epic. Wow, cool grip on this thing. Proper cool grip. Let's go inside now and check out the manufacturing line. Fresh off the production line, it's a couple of 488 pistas. There's one coming at us right now. So 
here you can see all the different sections like within the manufacturing process. Here we come to the robotics area where they start really uh, putting the whole car together and fitting all the windshields and everything. Unbelievable, look at the high tech, look, look how that gets fitted. Insane, amazing the precision. Here's the final touches on the engine. So the engine is in there now and the whole interior is not in there yet. So that comes into the next part. Okay, here it is behind me now, Monza SP1, the one-seater. There's 499 of them in total. And uh, we're here in the Fiano, Fiorano track now, which is the test track of Ferrari, right next to the headquarters. Uh, specifically built to do the Formula One and even road car testing, right from driving out of the gate straight onto the track. Unbelievable. And we're going to take it on track now. This is going to be great fun. So Rafael has just lent me his helmet because open face doesn't work for this car, apparently. So we're going to go with that. <laughs> Schumacher did 58 seconds. <laughs> Traction control off was pretty scary at first, huh? I hope uh, not too many of your clients start uh, for their first drive with traction control off. No, but it's uh, one of the yeah. capabilities of no, the car. Of course, of course, <laughs> but my god, I mean, with that... Uh, course, but it was a really extreme, extreme to have the head outside like that. Mm. It's really like I've never felt that before, you know. So it reminds, uh, of course, of the of the guys in the fifties and the sixties. Yeah, mm, and that's what it's supposed to do. Huh? That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's so it, remind, it reminds of that as well. So great, great honor for me as well to have tried it. I was I was the first guy like from external, because uh, it's only really the owners that are going to be able to try it, uh, and Rafael himself. So honored to be able to give it a go here on the track. It was good fun. It was cool handling, of course, but especially the power. Huh? The power and the guy he put me traction control off as I left here and I hadn't figured that out, I didn't know. So I went flat on the power, <laughs> it was all over the place. So the first thing I did was like, I went on full wet setting because I was like, whoa, what the hell is going on here? And then, uh, then of course, a couple of corners later, I was able to go back on race mode, but because uh, <laughs> you're alone with God, huh? if you go traction control off, it's you and God and there's nobody else. Hope you enjoyed me taking you along the ride. 
it's it's 1.7 million, you know, so it's always a bit uh, on the edge to drive uh, to drive like that through the corners with a car that's so expensive. But I took good care of it. <laughs> Was du drauf damals? Was erwischt du nicht? Ja! Du sollst eigentlich mal ein bisschen Gas geben! It was an epic day, thank you Ferrari, thanks for tuning in, see you for the next one. Bye bye! Okay, see you guys, just going, uh, going for a canoe ride. We're gonna go, I'm joining Marchin for a couple of days holiday. Bye bye, have a good one! <lacht>